A blood vessel is 360 millimeters long with circular cross sections of varying diameter. The table above gives the measurements of the diameter of the blood vessel at selected points along the length of the blood vessel, where X represents the distance from one end of the blood vessel, and B of X is a twice differentiable function that represents the diameter at that point. If B of X is continuous everywhere from 0 to 360, does there necessarily need to be a distance x on 0 to 120 that yields a diameter of 25.6 millimeters? So what we're asked here is, does there have to be some x value from 0 to 120 such that the diameter has to be 25.6 millimeters? Well, if b of x is continuous, then from 24 to 30, x has to hit every single function value b of x in between 24 and 30, including 25.6. And we know this from the intermediate value theorem. So the minute we see the 24 to 30, we know that since b of x is continuous, that b of x has to hit every single value in between 24 and 30 as well. So how can we say this using the intermediate value theorem? Well, in order to use the intermediate value theorem, we first must state that our function b of x is continuous on the two values that we'll be using as our endpoints. Well, since b of x is continuous everywhere from 0 to 360, well, that means that b of x is continuous from 0 to 60. So, looking from 0 to 60, b of x is continuous, and therefore we can invoke the intermediate value theorem. So here's how we'd write this out. Yes, b of 0 is equal to 24, and b of 60 is equal to 30. Since b of x is continuous from 0 to 60, then we can invoke the intermediate value theorem, which states that there must be some x value from 0 to 60 such that b of x is equal to 25.6 millimeters. And that is how we invoke the intermediate value theorem.